Hello everyone, welcome to my first tutorial of hitting a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Thank you all for subscribing, you all made this possible, thank you. I hope as time goes on we add more subs. So this is the third part of the GDVL5 tutorial on creating a multiplayer platformer. It is also the final part, so open GDVL5 on previous this. So in this tutorial I will be showing you how to add in the camera management. Um, whereby the camera zooms out um, in order to accommodate both our players and it zooms in when our players are close to each other, zooms out again. So close that, minimize, open GDevelop 5. So um, this is exactly where I stopped in my tutorial, in the last tutorial. So um, let's go to our new event. Um, let's create a new group. So we don't need to add any um objects in this tutorial. All we need is our events. So go to events. Um, let's name this camera. Sorry. Camera management. Um, let add a sub condition. Add a condition. Beginning of the scene. At the beginning of the scene. Um, let's add an action. Scene variable. Value of scene variable. Um, camera underscore zoom modification sign set to a value of one sorry one okay add an empty event add a condition um x position compare the x position of an object that's player one so the x position is um greater than the x position of sorry it's greater than the x position of our player two we need it to center the camera. Center the camera on our player one. So if the X position of player one is greater than player two, we center the camera on player one. Add an empty event. Add a condition. X position. So the X position of player two, sign of less, is greater than the X position of um. Sorry, X position of our player one. Apply. It centers the camera on our player 2. There we go. So um, let's add an empty event, add a condition, zoom, change camera zoom. So we need this to zoom. Um, we need to fill in our scene variable for the zoom. So it zooms um, according to the scene variable. So variable. Open the bracket. Camera underscore zoom close the bracket. So we'll use the variable camera zoom to zoom it out. So add an empty event. Let's add in the zoom out condition. So um distance distance between two objects player one and player two distance um four hundred invert condition. Okay, add a sub condition. Add a condition. Scene variable, value of scene variable, camera underscore zoom, camera zoom, sign of plus, um, is greater than 0 0.5. So when the camera zoom is greater than 0 0.5, add an action, scene variable, value of scene variable, camera zoom. Modification sign um subtract the value of zero point zero one. Okay. So let's um preview this. So um here we go. Um this should zoom out. Here we go. Now as you can see it zoom out depending on the distance. So um we need to make it zoom in and also we need to increase um, the zoom out value. So close that. Just copy this. Let's finish our zoom out first. So add a sub, -condi uh, sub condition, MC event, sorry. Um, paste that. So player 1 distance to player 2 is below. Distance 500 um, is greater than the scene variable is greater than 0 0.04. We um it will subtract 0 0.01 from the scene variable camera zoom. Paste that again. 
Um, player one distance to player two is below 400. Um, is below 600. Um, seen by camera zoom is greater than 0 0.03. Is subtract 0 0.01 from the scene variable camera zoom. So um now this should work well. Um it will zoom this out. Let's preview this. It will zoom out according to our distance and it allows um more zoom values. Here we go. As you can see, um okay, close that. Uh now let's add in the zoom in. Um paste there. Let's invert the condition. So player one distance to player two is below 400 pixels. Um, scene variable camera zoom is less than 0 point um one. Sorry, less than one um modification sign add. So just copy this and let's paste this here. So player one distance to player two is below um 500 pixels. Camera zoom is less than um 0 point um 44. We'll add this. Paste that again. So paste. Player player one distance to player two is below um 600 pixels. And the scene variable camera zoom is less than 0 0.33. Now we'll add 0 0.01 to the scene variable camera zoom. Close that and preview. So here we go. Okay. As you can see, um, the camera zooms out, and when the close, it zooms in. Here we go. It zooms out, so yeah, in order to accommodate both players. So if you want this to keep on zooming out, um, you would have to increase the values here. You would have to increase the distance and the um scene variable camera zoom. So um, that's how it's done. Thank you.